Hi friends, so I'm, it's great to be back for another review and this time I'm reviewing a pen from Indian pen maker Constellations 88. Um, Constellations 88 makes uh, many pen lines and this one is from their uh, series called Elements and they've come up with two pens in this series, one is Bromine and one is Sulphur and this time I'm reviewing a pen called Bromine. So the pen comes in this uh, very simplistic cardboard box and uh, it's a great thing that you get a pen case for this large size pen along with this. This pen case is made up of uh, Rexin and you have this Constellations logo uh, imprinted on this. It's a, it's got a magnetic flap and it's, it's, a, it's a very very good case otherwise to carry along. Although it is a hard cardboard box, uh, you cannot easily push it into your pockets but then you can carry it um, in your hand alongside. And here is the pen, Constellations Bromine. A very beautiful pen, we'll just come to this. And this also comes with some certificates and everything. I don't think that's useful now. So here you go. The pen is made up of some very beautiful texture of um, uh, acrylic and you have this uh, brilliant shining uh, uh, color of brown different shades of brown and blue and teal and everything um, I really like the shimmer in this and again this uh, the beauty of this pen uh, comes out brilliantly in outdoor um, and bright light uh, shines really well and also you see some waves of dark uh, along with lighter shades all through the barrel and the cap in this particular model, I am not sure whether they have purposely made it to align, but then they align very well. So coming to the pen, um, the finial has a constellations uh, uh, coin as they say, uh, which has a kind of a vintage look to it. You, you can see their logo and constellations 88 um, embossed on that. I really like the clip. Uh, you see a small ring and then the clip is sort of uh, coming out separately from inside. It's a, it's a very simplistic, undulated and uh, sort of rounded from side to side. I um, really like the shape of this clip and it's very functional as well. It forms a sort of a bulbous lower, um, uh, lower end um, which really does the job very well. Um, the, the cap ends up in this small uh, sort of the... This is basically the writing section um, which has a which has a different pattern because uh, the writing section also is made up of acrylic and then you have this barrel so as we unscrew this you see the complete writing section the threads and the barrel everything made up of the same material which, which the, the cap is made of um, what the good thing about this is that it has a very long long writing section and uh, the grip can be positioned very comfortably along uh, along the length of it as per your desire um, the the threads are brilliantly cut out they are the finishing of the threads is very nice i really like that they've they've paid a lot of attention to how they finish their products they, there was a couple of things uh, which i think should have uh, also been taken care of i'll, I'll just show you that um, the lower part, uh, this is a slightly tapering writing section. The lower part of the writing section has this uh, out projection um, which sort of uh, holds your grip in place if you want to hold the writing section in the lower part. This is a standard uh, Bok nib and it is a steel nib. It's a brilliant nib. Uh, really, I'll, I'll come to the experience uh, when we discuss and some very beautiful features of this nib. So you see the Bok uh, logo there, the name, this is a medium width. The barrel unscrews to reveal a Schmidt converter, this is a cartridge converter pin. I think you can silicone grease this and you can use it as an eyedropper also. I'm not sure, we'll have to ask Mr. Vishal for that. The finishing is has been really taken care of well. The bottom end is flat and there you see the this, these are um, basically limited series numbers and this one is 47 out of the total 88 uh, pens which they'll come out in this particular series. This one is Bromine. So 
so in the finishing which i was talking about just a couple of things uh, one thing is that you see that this name has been imprinted off center for some fountain pen enthusiasts who have a kind of a ocd for perfection uh, every time you write with this it will just stare at you and secondly um, the alignment of this i believe could have been uh, done in the line of the nib which would have been um, more aesthetic um, thirdly i find that the coin it's their standard coin uh, at the finial um, this has a vintage look while the clip is sort of a, um, a chrome polished it it's got a modern look to it i believe that um, both could have had the same finish um, it's up for them to decide but then otherwise the the dimensions of the pen the girth at the writing section everything is brilliant this is this has been designed very well it's not it's not a shape which is very common to see it's a short and stout like a baton you hold but then it grows upon you so slowly and slowly i have come to uh, enjoy the weight of the pen the dimensions and also the way uh, this really fits well in the grip this does not post very well so it's not a posted kind of a pen because you you see that even after posting it's not very well aligned and the the cap is sort of wobbly you can but i don't think you'll enjoy it doesn't increase the weight of the pen a lot because this is not very heavy material so you can really look at that i really love the teal and everything shining through it so great a lovely pen and even better writer we'll see um dimensions wise it's almost similar or a bit more than a sailor pro gear and width wise it is sort of compares to a lotus shikhar at the writing section it's got a good girth both of them have got a good girth and you see that the pen the nib of the pen is the same number 6 and even the um, the dimensions of the pen are almost similar to that of a, a big size pen so the there is a kind of a illusion that they have uh, made the uh, top and the bottom flat it sort of looks like a small pen but believe me it is not it's a it's a big pen now for the surprise it packed the writing section so this is a constellations the pen has a bulk medium steel nib i'm so sorry and um, the ink is a mix up of the dominant part being dominant mean that the the main component of the pigment was diamine ancient copper and mont blanc burgundy red so i don't know how i landed up with this combination but uh, there is a very hint a very small hint of the burgundy shining through the dominant component of um, ancient copper and uh, both are in equal proportions the performance of the pen out of the box was brilliant i haven't done anything to it 
I haven't aligned the times. I haven't uh, uh, used micro mesh on this. Uh, this writes with a very small hint of feedback with it, which is really very pleasant, and the smoothness is really, really, really awesome. Um, this has a slight stub quality to it. You can see that the horizontal strokes are slightly narrower than the vertical strokes. What surprised me was that this on a very smooth paper was a very good extra fine reverse writer. This is a simple photocopy paper. So the reverse writing experience of this particular nib on this paper is not very good but then on a smooth paper I, I believe to the uh, um, equivalent of a Rhodia the extra fine quality of the reverse writing will come out very well. What will also surprise you with this Bok nib is the springiness of the nib. Um, in this particular case, uh, I don't know why the feed is not keeping up with this pen, but I use tried to use it previously. I don't spring my nibs uh, a lot because uh, they generally fall out of alignment, but I just tried my hand on this and it doesn't behave like a steel nib at all. See? It springs more than even the best of the gold nibs I've seen. A big pack of surprise with this okay and I end the review with this but I don't end this video because this is the first time we've introduced a giveaway with the video and the giveaway is this particular awesome pen case from constellations um, this is a uh, made up of uh, artificial leather it's um, so it's a good thing for the vegans, vegans out there who generally don't like uh, leather stuff but otherwise also it's a brilliant brilliant uh, uh, pen case it has a magnetic flap very convenient um, the best thing is that it has a uh, space for holding one large size pen and one regular pen so here you see even the pen of this width comfortably sliding in and you can push another pen alongside this very easily there you go it has still space uh, on the top of it between the flap the inner lining of the flap has uh, again uh, the same material of which it is, it is made and this is slightly shiny and it uh, you can see the margins uh, shining off from the side also and i really like that two-tone appearance from the side and single tone from the front the stitch quality of this is very good and the best thing is that this is a free giveaway now how you go for that uh, today is 27th and uh, 27th of april and uh, any one of you who wants to enter this free giveaway uh, please uh, put a comment below uh, i'd really like if you can subscribe also to the video so that you get continuously updated of our new additions uh, to our video collections so uh, any comment uh, till uh, 30th of april um, 12 midnight we'll uh, we'll take a small draw out of that and uh, we'll get in touch with you um, for this particular uh, giveaway uh, there you go so enjoy your day we are having avengers today uh, avengers infinity war premiering and um, i hope you all enjoy this movie as well bye